Welcome back guys to my channel. So in today's video, we will be learning how to create something exactly like this, using Canva. To begin, go to Canva, locate video and click on it. Next, click on the color tool to change your background color. Then go to Element to search for your needed resources. To remove the background of your image, click on Edit Photo. Then use BG Remover or Magic Grab. Next apply the pop animation to your image. Next apply text to your work by clicking on the text tool. You can change the font and also the color of your text. For font, I made use of Gelatio. Dupla cut text and edit it. For the second font, I will be using more sugar. You can add more text to your work. You can also add more materials to your work to give you exactly what you want. You can apply blue effect to the overlay image by clicking on Edit Photo, then Blur. Go to Whole Image. Increase the intensity to suit your need, and then hit on Edit Photo. Once you're done with the first page, you can set the duration. Double click and click to duplicate to duplicate the page. On the second page, take off some text and size your image. Enlarged it and aligned it to the right. Under element, search for double arrow then apply it to your work. Apply the wipe animation to the arrow and set the wipe direction to the left. Back to element, select the square shape. Then adjust it until you get your desired rectangle.
Bring in other materials, including text. Arrange them as shown where, add animation to each materials and you are done with page 2. Once done, duplicate the page to get page 3. Align the image to the left and resize it. Also align other materials to the opposite direction and change the direction of the wipe animation. Apply to the arrow. Apply the same process to page 4. Once done, duplicate to get page 5. Here copy the entire element here and place it in the middle. And he did it. To the elements here, Click on each, go to animation, then click on remove animation. Once done, duplicate the page to get page 6. 
Repeat the same process of page 5. Finally, the last page. Click in between two pages to add transition. Then select the match and move transition and apply it to all pages. Finally, the outcome. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tutorials. Like, comment and share. Also do well to turn on your bell notification to receive notification on our next video.